extremely dangerous because children were used as soldiers. Um, so elders who were supposed to be taking care of children were now afraid of children more than anyone else. Um, so understanding that change in society when suddenly people who used to love each other live together are now killing each other with no reason became very puzzling for me. And for my own memory, the question became, why am I alive? But I don't think you are too young to learn the responsibilities of your citizenship, your lives as democratic citizens. We're often told about the duties of our presidents when we elect them. What we don't get told about enough is our responsibilities as democratic citizens, even as young as we are. He says, in the world and at home, you have the opportunity and the responsibility to make the choices which will determine the greatness of your nation. You live in one of the most privileged nations in the world. You are the most privileged citizens of your privileged nation. For you have been given the opportunity to study and learn. For me, there was always this focus on education. and. I mean, I haven't been too far, but where I am now, I have the belief that it works. Um, I got an education in Norway, I got an education in the States. I, I, I am a Tom Lantos Fellow in the U.S. Congress right now. I understand that we have different backgrounds. Our past is different. But I constantly pray for the days when no child would have to go through my ideas. However, I am also consoled by the fact that our future is almost the same now. A generation that cares about the other. A generation that assumes that the problem of the world is our problem. A generation that does not demarcate between the problems of America and the problems of the rest of the world. Because as I said earlier, no matter where you are, it will come to you. Whether it's in terms of your sister serving in the Peace Corps in Ghana, your brother in Iraq or elsewhere, or anyone else who belongs to this world today. All I need to provide is the facility, um, the opportunity for these children to have a high school education at least. Um, I can't afford a university education for some of the students now, but I think just a high school education will be a significant impact on my country. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't have an opportunity to think large. But the moment I went to Norway after high school, I felt unlimited. And this is what has been driving me all this while. So if the government can pay the teachers, I'm trying to provide the school. Provide opportunities for all the students because Right, unfortunately, or whatever way you look at it, as emerging leaders, you always will have to deal with this. It will come back to you. So it is your duty. And I thank you very much for your attention tonight. And go out.